Hey guys, welcome back to the Crystal Palace Road to Glory. We have a compact quality episode today covering key highlights of all five of these games. Youth promotions and drama of course, <laughs> it's always drama. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, I wanted to show you guys a youngster my scout found from the favelas of Rio de Janeiro called Bruno Gomez. You know, I told the scout that I'm looking for the next R9, so big task ahead of him. But this is a great start to be honest. Um, I also want the next Kaka too, so let's see what comes out of it. So straight into the game. First up we have Liverpool FC at Selhurst Park. Hopefully Edwards comes through, Eze, Olise, Gwehi and Anderson at the back. We're tight and compact. <sighs> you know, Man United already humbled us once. Just hoping that we can get at least a point out of these games. Come on, you Eagles. Alexander Arnold. Here's Salah. Oh, fancy footwork. Oh, yes. 1 0 it is. And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. Well, just look how Salah glides beyond his opponent. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Back. Defending must score, and it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? He's in here, and in. Oh, yes, exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw in coming up. And Palace could get in behind the defence. Is it going to be? And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Ezzy. Jordan, are you here? Pulls it back. This game is very much back on. Incisive pass. Oh, big opportunity. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly. He does know you can't really allow space like that. And angling it back. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. So Bosloy and threading it through. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Be ideal for the counter. Well, it could be on for him here. It has to be, surely. A goal. He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Crystal Palace goal, number seven. And that brings this match to an end. A day of that was rough. Obviously not the result we were after. Gakpo, Slozibai, whatever that guy's name is, that new centre midfield slash cam that Liverpool have, he, he is some player um, I couldn't handle him all game he was all over the pitch all over the midfield cutting me open with passes running all over he just ran through me all game that was a tough match um, I look forward to the away game see how much we've improved um, but we move on to the next one um, I let one of my youngsters go I'm not going to play him so, so he can get some valuable experience for two years I'm fine with that and we move on to Man City off the back of the Liverpool loss, again, hopefully try to get at least one point out of this game. But we'll see how it goes. Very strong side, of course, with Harlan, Julian Alvarez, um, Grealish and the likes. So um, we move, we go again. Let's go, you Eagles. Ducouré. Goalkeeper won't be 
Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. Set back. Opportunity it is. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game. And they weren't behind for long. Grealish. Pulls it back. Good-looking move. Can he finish? A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. Holland. He's in here. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing. And now they sense victory. And defensive play to be applauded. Oh, he looks threatening. Could pull one back here. And he does. He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Still possibilities. Oh, that's a really good run. Can he finish? Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, here it is again. He goes past his mark. And now Rodri. Holland. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. And that brings this match to an end. A day of frustration for Crystal Palace. All Damn. Another tough, tough, tough result to take. But I take full responsibility for that one. I feel like I got my tactics all wrong. Um, I was pressing high on Alvarez for a, few, a couple of his goals and he just fully exploited the space in behind and he was too quick, we couldn't catch up to him and he was clinical today, he was a sensational player I mean that's what you expect from a World Cup winner right? and he's playing for the best team in the world so um, disappointing result but we move on to Brighton and hopefully we can get the right result in this game and turn around our bad form and bad fortune. Come on you Eagles, let's go. And this should be something special on the pitch. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Can he finish? And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. This. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, it's... And passing it through. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Oh, in with a chance. Full credit, wonderful stop. Promising position, this. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Lerma. Well, oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Can he finish? Oh, did so well to deny him. Sheikh Dukure. Now, chance of attacking possibilities here. The fans want to see a shot. Opportunity here, and a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. And with play having stopped, a chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. Anderson. Oh, goodness. Not the best of challenges. Now then, what's the referee going to do here? 
And really, Stuart, they've left themselves with an awful lot to do. With. Now counter-attacking possibilities. A real opening now. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Onto the pitch. Number 13. Dahoud can't miss, surely. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Will it? Joel Ward. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. And he's broken free. Is it going to be? And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, as the replay shows, that's gone in off the post. His heart must have been in his mouth there. It's a good finish in the end. <sighs> Finally, but we get a win. Ansu Fati really put his team in the doghouse, to be honest, with that red card. Uh, but Elise and Eze really came through today with Raksaki and Will Hughes coming from the bench to also score. Raksaki's goal was the highlight, you know, running through the heart of the defence to score that goal. So we move on to the next game. We have Chelsea. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. Now options are plenty. And he's through here. And a goal! Starters, they take an early lead. Odson Edouard. Oh, breezing past him. Can he finish? Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Pulls it back, and it goes down as a missed opportunity. Calabria to take the lead. And a strong glove on the ball. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he finish? A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No one. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's Chelsea do from this position. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, there's the pullback. This could level it. opens up for him well not Jackson on the ball opportunity here well it's gone in a goal for Chelsea who now are level and up but no end product a real opening now must be and there it is two goals in a matter of minutes incredible stuff Odson Edouard, and he's made headway. They just couldn't stay in front, and now this match is all square. The substitution now. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Crystal Palace facing Brentford. Oh, he can score here, Derek. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Goal! Yes! 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 
Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top goal. That's effective pressure, high up the pitch. Now he's got to stay calm. Well, the danger was on, but she in a position of menace. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Ezzy. Mitchell. Lerma. Henderson. Klein. Sheikh Ducouré. And Edouard with it. And full time here. Edouard. Edward, Edward. I have nothing to say about this guy. I mean, he just came he just came through. He actually just came through, pushing right to the end. And that is our first big scalp of this save of this season. Of a so-called big six side, I should say. Chelsea with all their billions spent couldn't beat Crystal Palace, who had minimal investment during the summer. Chuffed at that. That was a tough, 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 tough match but we nipped this one for free and it's well deserved you know we pressed them high we pushed them right to the end and Edouard had a fantastic game as well with Eze so looking at the Premier League at this halfway stage we are in sixth you know we're in a good position Arsenal are leading the way followed by Man City Newcastle and Liverpool and Spurs I think the top of the table looks pretty much in line with what you would expect yeah, but we're in sixth. We're just trying to get mid-table, so that's fine. So we had a youth player who got unsettled, Ortiz. Uh, so I um, promoted him to the first team squad. Uh, but I don't really mind that too tough. You know, I'm just going to promote him into the first team squad and then ideally loan him out. Um, he has decent stats, so I can understand why he's a, he's a bit um, unsettled. Just looking back at the young Brazilian that my scout found just gonna put him on a training plan and the idea is to the way I see things I want to keep them in the youth team you know 16 to 18 and then loan them out from maybe 18 to 20 before I fully integrate them into the side unless they're really special like this guy looks like he might be providing backup for the first team at some point so um, he might make it direct from the youth team straight into um, the bench as mentioned I agreed a long deal for Ortiz you know I like to make the wage split be in my favor so we're paying 45% even though it's a small wage we're paying 45 and they're paying 55 um, also Joe Ward got taken by Leicester from us on a free transfer his contract was running down I wasn't going to give him a new contract anyways he's old he's slow and um, he's at the tail end of his career so I tried to sell him but I think um, I waited too long for this one I should have probably done it at the start of the season but I tried to be a bit more realistic with the save so we move on to Brentford um, if you remember the match against Brentford in at the start of the season they scored an overhead kick to equalize and um, they nearly won the game with an overhead kick as well right at the end uh, so I'm pumped up for this one I've been waiting to get revenge on this side so let's get it guys come on you eagles you can't argue with that the action is live next palace now in potentially a dangerous position lerma emberecci ezzi on the ball oh what an opportunity and a goal not bad for starters they take an early Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power. Stop him running at them. Big chance to get them on terms. And a really good diving stop. Well, there's the pullback. And a goal! 
Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Must take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. You've seen so far. Well, it's been a good first half so far, and they've been the better side. Certainly going... Oh, hang on, Stuart. It's a chance. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to... The fans want to see a shot. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's in perfect. Electing to shoot. The referee's whistle. And that means the first half is around him. Incisive pass. Oh, fine stop. Ezzy. Mitchell. Options in the middle. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Being pressed hard. Tyrick Mitchell. Are you? Real chance. A pure instinct from the keeper. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Oh, could be. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Get in. Well deserved. Eze, my man of the match. I think he got two goals and two assists in this game. Olise on the score sheet as well as Eduard, as per usual, getting coming in with the crucial goal to push us back back in front with 3-2 you know when they equalized the second time i just thought this is going to be one of those days where i'm gonna get frustrated and towards the end of the match they're gonna just pack me in <laughs> i was actually thinking like that so it was good we held our nerve and um we bore it home and uh, mateta came off the bench i'm gonna try and use this guy a bit more because um, he apparently has that special something in, in the description so I want to use him a bit more moving forward um, to rotate Edward but Edward is just going from strength to strength you know I can't bet you how how do you bench a guy like that like he's just going from strength to strength he's on like 21 Premier League goals or something like that's that's crazy right so um, great team performance I'm happy with the overall display and um, that's going to give us great confidence moving forward because the first time we played Brentford I know how much that affected the guys and you know they, that this match was one that we marked on the calendar for a very long time so it was nice to get even see you draw Ward um, you've been a good servant thank you for your time and your professionalism um, I don't know why they do this animation he's leaving at the end of the season <laughs> But um, yeah, I guess that's just seeing him off for the day. And Ortiz has gone for two years. See you, youngster. Young guy. Learn and come back better. Final look at the youngsters before we call it a day. Um, I really have my eyes on this injury guy. He's developing nicely. Bamba looks like he's going to be a solid right back. Mensa too, he's very interesting. He can play on both flanks, right back and left back. Then we have players like Max Amos as well, who just joined the academy this year, who looks like a right nifty player, right? Quick, looks like a very technically gifted player, 17 years old and from Ghana, winger and attacking mid. 
Um, so yeah, that's it for today, guys. Let's look at the table quickly. So we are down in fifth. I say down, we're actually in a good position in fifth, to be honest, on 40 points. 40 is what they usually say is the golden number to avoid being relegated in the league. So I'm happy that we've hit that number one landmark to start off. Um, it's pretty tight, to be honest. Um, United are just four points behind us with Newcastle one point behind us. And there's a small cushion with Wolves at in 15th of five points to the relegation places. So, yeah, the league is taking shape. Um, let's have a quick look at next episode, what, to, what we can expect. Uh, so we have Norwich in the FA Cup. So we're going to try and give um, the fringe players a run out. Then we have that Arsenal game. If you remember, that was my first game of the season and I actually accidentally simulated it. <laughs> so, um, and then we have Sheffield United. So thanks for joining guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Peace.